the numbers are. Forty percent of Americans believe that it was Iraq. Saddam Hussein who attacked us on 9-11. Does that concern you that people are misinformed? No, but I think what, well, it doesn't yes, bother you. but... Um, that would explain why people supported know. the war. Look, I, I don't think that's a particularly good question. We also do know <laughs> that It's Saddam, the answer I'm asking if you're concerned right, about. Right, well, this is why it's not a good question, because we do know Saddam was working with al-Qaeda's top agents, that his intelligence okay, then agents you're right. were then the working war was with well-founded because the war was based on WMD, on a threat from Iraq to us, and also posed on the idea that the terrorists are the people who attacked us on 9-11, and those are the people we attacked when we went to Iraq. We then know, we're right in going to war. We know no single country attacked us because it was individual terrorists, and by the way, your team claims to support what the team? war in I'm Afghanistan, just going by these poll and questions. Afghanistan didn't attack us on 9/11 either, Chris. What? But Bin Laden did. Well, okay, Bin Laden he's was, not was, even a was citizen of Afghanistan. The Taliban and was protected by the Taliban and, in Afghanistan, and, Al and that's was why the American people Saddam. supported the troops going into <laughs> Afghanistan, and that's why apparently uh, a good portion of the American people Iraq. are still misinformed about why we went into Iraq. No, you're misinformed, including on the war you claim to support. Afghanistan did not attack us on 9/11. They were working with Al Qaeda. Right. Okay, Saddam was working with Al Qaeda too. He was. Yes. You. Well, then these people are right. If you did not know that Saddam no, sent his great. top this agents to work hear. with we'll top right agents from Al Qaeda, Culture. thank you. We're right back. I think we heard all we need to hear. The wife of a presidential candidate is asking me to stop speaking. No. <laughs> no, she said you should stop being so negative to people individually. Right, as opposed to bankrupting uh, doctors by giving um, a shyster Las Vegas routine in front of juries based okay. on science. Wait, you said I'd have as long as I would ahead, have, and you ahead, instantly interrupt me. Um, <laughs> as I was saying, doing um, these psychic routines in front of illiterate juries to bankrupt doctors who now can't deliver babies. Um, and to charge a, a poverty group $50,000 for a speech. Don't talk to me about, about how to use language. Uh, my candidate, Barack Obama, he is a churchgoer. He's reaching out to the uh, religious part of the country, and he wants to turn the page, and he wants to be friends. So how can you call him godless? How can you call him godless? Um... Well, he goes to kind of a crazy church where the minister praises Gaddafi and says we deserve 9-11. So I'm, there are churches and churches. Um, and, you know, he just gave this speech on, okay. on evangelicals hijacking America. And, it, I mean, it just seems to me people are always saying you have to give up on abortion so the country will be united. Well, okay, how about you guys and give up culture. on abortion? The name of the book is Godless. We've sold a lot of her books tonight. I don't know if I can go to confession fast enough.